If you have the wrong concept of why people get sick, you will never come up with the right solution of how to get and stay well. So the more we are under chronic stress, the more of a load it places on our body. I use the analogy of being born into a swimming pool with a backpack on and water wings. You know those blow-up things? Okay, so those water wings have enough air in them for you to, they have a slow leak, and they have enough air that's going to last 120 years. That's our genetic lifespan. And you're born into that pool with a backpack. You used to be born into that pool with an empty backpack. Now we know from epigenetics that if you, if you have, you know, suicidal lifestyle maniac parents, that the babies are born into that pool with rocks on the backpack. They are born with an adaptive stress load at birth now. We have babies that are born insulin resistant because their mom eats so much junk food and sugar. We have babies that are born addicted to cocaine. We have babies that are, that are born with atopic and allergy disorders. And all. We have babies that are born with problems learning because their moms are deficient in omega-3 fatty acids. We have babies born, you know, yanked out of the birth canal and subluxated. We have all kinds of issues with our children now. They're not even born with an empty empty backpack. But imagine if you could that you're born with an empty backpack. What stress in your life represents is a rock in that backpack. And every time you put a rock in that backpack, you sink a little bit lower in that water. Day-to-day -day life becomes a bit more of a struggle. It comes, becomes harder to keep your head above water when you have that stress load every day. So would you think that in that pool with those rocks in your backpack that the solution is to take a blood pressure medication to get your blood pressure down? If you're standing by that swimming pool, this is your life in practice. You're going to stand by a swimming pool and you're going to watch people come into your practice with backpacks full of rocks struggling to make life work. And you have a choice. You can refer them out to somebody who's going to throw them some drugs to make them feel better as they sink in that pool, or you can pull them out and teach them how to get the rocks out. What are you going to do? You have to make a choice. You need to change and you need to decide what makes more sense. Because the fact of the matter is we have 50 years of data of throwing those poor people more drugs and it's never ever gotten rocks out of their backpack. Has it? What drug can fix a problem caused by not enough nutrients in the diet? Which drug? Which drug can fix a problem by not enough exercise, sedentary living, chronic subluxation, terrible posture? Which drug can fix a problem that your parents, you don't have any self-esteem, or you don't have any friends? Which drug can fix that? Well, I'm here to tell you that those are the things that are causing the change in blood pressure, and the change in cholesterol, and the change in fertility, and the acid reflux. That chronic illness is absolutely unequivocally a lifestyle illness issue. It's a rock in the backpack issue. And until we recognize that and start to have a strategy to get rocks out of the backpack, there's no chance. Subluxation is a rock in the backpack. That's how I teach it.